Your home is probably wasting your hard-earned money. Here are my top tips to do your DIY energy audit at home. One of the first places you should really look is simply around your doors and your windows. You really wanna go around all of your doors, every single window, and feel if you have cold or hot drafts that are coming. Even if you have a well-built home, things like weather stripping and caulking, they simply deteriorate over time and need to be replaced. So let's talk about your heating and cooling system. Systems like ductless mini splits, and forced air heating systems all have moving components that it's really important to make sure that they're working properly. Looking for things like filters, air filters to make sure that they're clean and not clogged, making sure that duct work is nice and sealed up, and making sure that any moving components like motors are working properly. When it comes to the operation of your heating cooling system, the name of the game is making sure that you're not heating or cooling an unoccupied room. That's energy wastage. Effective use of things like smart thermostats can save anywhere from 10 to 25% of your total heating and cooling bill in a year. So another place you can look is what's called phantom power. Some of the older appliances have really high phantom power draws and any opportunity that you have to reduce or replace that appliance with a more energy efficient or you can look for energy star appliances would have a lower phantom draw. The next place to look is probably the most common when you think about home energy efficiency and that's just insulation. Many homes either have outdated or poor insulation levels. Two areas specifically where you really want to check insulation levels are things like crawl spaces and basements or potentially new additions. These are often areas where they're easy to access and add more insulation to make sure that you're being as energy efficient as possible. Similar to our basements and our crawl spaces, but deserving special mention are our attics. There are two things that you want to look for in your attics primarily. One is the amount of insulation in the attic itself. And if it is lower than what an energy efficiency attic is, you can add insulation on top of the existing insulation. Second thing you want to be mindful of is air movement. You want to make sure that air from inside the house is not escaping into the attic through things like the attic hatch, making sure that it's properly sealed. Another place to look in your DIY energy audit is around hot water usage. After heating and space cooling, hot water is the second highest energy consumer in your home. The things you want to look out for are places where you can reduce any hot water leaks like around a faucet that might be continuously dripping or even things like low flow shower heads to reduce how much hot water is used in an individual shower. Other things that you can look for are uninsulated hot water piping in a place like a crawl space or a basement and use foam insulation around those pipes. Well, that's all for now. Hopefully these simple tips are going to help you on your energy efficiency journey and reducing your home's energy consumption. Stay cozy and keep saving.